Okay, so this is how we take sample for asbestos. Um, we're chipping off, we're, we're testing concrete, so we're chipping off concrete um, into this sheet of paper. Uh, we're trying to collect um, large pieces, not dust. We're, we're trying to collect as, as, as large as possible of a piece, but we cannot exceed one inch. There you go, that's a nice piece right there. Uh, we cannot exceed one inch. So we're just gonna keep taking concrete. Okay, a little bit more. All right, that's a little bit too big, but okay, we can chip it off. Nice. Okay, those are good. All right, so that's silo. Okay, so to create a collection paper, just uh, take any um, paper and then fold it in half like this and then fold it again. Okay, uh, you don't have to be very precise. What I'm trying to do is just trying to create a, a sheet of paper that can be used as a collection bucket. So you can see that uh, if you just point this down, that's where we want to collect and everything just goes in the middle like that. Uh, kit there's a small plastic bag like a ziploc bag and uh, inside the ziploc bag is where you will put the material that was collected it's gonna like drop it in there just like that Make sure it's sealed. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, my um, asbestos testing kit came from Amazon in an envelope like this. There's nothing at the back. Um, it's called Nurture Labs Sample Collection Kit, Asbestos Sample Testing Kit. Single step instruction, all labs we included, certified lab result, nurturelabs.com, and it has a, some kind of product number. Inside, it comes with one mask, a pair of gloves. This is a padded envelope. Um, I already put my samples in there, and uh, my samples includes, uh, it's inside a, uh, a Ziploc bag that they, that they included. This is the uh, return um, envelope, and these are instruction, another instruction or uh, notice, um, I guess disclaimer page. This is the, uh, the form that you have to fill out um, that has your address. And according to the step-by-step, -step, they concentrate mainly on, um, on the size of the sample. Uh, here's this, uh, for friable, which are basically uh, material that can be crushed into powder by hand, like acoustic sealing spray, etc., or non friable um, floor tile siding, um, etc. The one that is you, you can't just uh, pulverize with your hand, you have to use, uh, you have to collect those uh, non friable sample, about one, one square inch is enough. Um, do not send large sample. Sample should be small, one teaspoon or max one square inch. And all the result, um, I, I bought the uh, three day samples and the three day basically starts from the moment that it arrives at the, uh, with the facility. So, um, each one of the, um, um, uh, what do you call this? Uh, chain of custody forms um, has a number on the top right hand corner and these numbers are unique numbers so that's how they, they keep track to make sure that your forms are genuine um, these also comes with the uh, 
um, the status here uh, or the, the class of the service. This is three days. That means uh, they are supposed to give me the result within three days. And uh, these are all uh, here on the top right hand corner of the form. Um, that's about it. Um, so this, this is how this asbestos result is being done. Uh, asbestos testing kit that I got from Amazon. This is from Nurture Labs, sample collection kit for asbestos. Uh, the reason why I got this one is because all the lab fees are included and it's certified uh, lab results. And this is the uh, domain name. Okay, so this is what it comes with. Um, going from the top left, they gave a pair of gloves, a mask, a padded envelope. Inside this padded envelope, I already put my um, three samples. So since I'm putting all three samples together, um, I have three Ziploc bags in there for each sample, and they're all noted. Each one of them has a permanent marker um, IDing each one of the, uh, um, the samples. And in here, I also put the, the sample ID for each one. Um, it comes with the um, envelope to send it back, and this is, uh, I'm going to put the sample padded envelope and all this, uh, what they call the chain of custody forms, all inside this envelope here to return. You do have to put your own postage, and you do, um, I would recommend that you put a tracking, um, like a UPS tracking or FedEx ground or something, or certified mail. Um, each kit also comes with the step-by-step uh, -step instruction and also um, important disclaimer. One thing to remember about the instruction is basically uh, the most important thing is the, the sample sizes. So there are two types, friable, which means that you can crush with your hand. Uh, Non-friable is uh, the one that is hard. For example, here, friable, you just need to have one teaspoon. Non-friable, no more than one square inch. So once you put all these uh, information in the envelope, it takes about three days. This is the, the service level that I paid for, three days. And each one of the uh, paper here, the cus uh, chain of custody has a serial number. This is how they know that uh, you can't fake them. This is what you paid for. Um, so I'm going to wait three days and uh, I'm going to uh, record another clip uh, to show you guys what the result looked like. I sent out my package to the uh, laboratory on December 15th and I'm using US Postal certified so that I can track it. I received an email back with the result on December 23rd. Inside the email, there's an attachment in PDF format of the result of the testing. And as you can see on the right hand column, it says that there is no asbestos detected. My overall experience with this kit has been great. The kit worked as intended and the timing was also pretty good at eight days, including shipping time. If you would like to buy this particular asbestos testing kit that I use, please look for the link in the video description and in the comment. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.